Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. Well, the Australian dollar took on the challenge towards the downside and takes out the level of 74.80, with the next target now seen at 74.65 as minor. This may hold on the day, purely for the fact with the weaker US dollar overnight could see a short covering up towards 75.30.35, so do be aware if you are trading from the short side. However, this should be temporarily as a move should come back towards 74.20.65 and then 74.25.35. So as I mentioned, with the US dollar being a little bit on the weaker side, the market did challenge the 105.70 level, but rebounds for the second time. And as you can see here, now looks towards the um, resistance of 106.35 today. Any advances beyond there should find firmer resistance that now comes in at 106.65.75. Well, the dollar yen story is still very disappointing as the market takes out the support of 109.90. And now has 107.4080 on the radar. One thing to note today is if we get a move above 110.2040, may negate the, the downside weakness and could catch the market off guard in a short way and see a rally on towards 110.85. Any um, advances towards there, we have to reassess to see how the rest of the market is looking. Now, as I mentioned, 110.2040 is the trigger. Failing to take that out in the next 24 hours, would see a further move down towards 109.30 to 108.60 with the objective of 107.40.80. Well, the pound took the opportunity of rallying on with a weaker US dollar overnight. However, the market did find resistance around that 125 handle. In light of the top side of 125.10.60 to cap, I expect to see the market to retreat from there and look towards 124.25. And retest the lows of this week of 123.65. Now, a break beneath there is the trigger level towards the 122 objective. Well, gold surges higher overnight, taking out the resistance to 66, now negates the dragonfly and the shooting star, and looks towards a potential target of 1290. Let's reassess from there, as we could see a firm rejection, like we saw back here in November, and look back towards the support of 66. Now, a break beneath there would negate the upside move, and then look towards 54 as an objective. And to wrap up with oil, well, the market is getting overheated now as the technicals go into overbought territory. I expect to see any advances towards 54.5 to fail and look back towards now to 52.90 to 51.80. So that wraps up my daily video. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the intraday report that will be released shortly.